Checking out the uh, the quality of the pitch because they did have a few problems. They help each other. There's plenty of cover on, and it was extremely difficult for the Ivory Coast, even though they had a lot of possession, to break them down. So I think uh, as as we ju just see the game get it underway, I think the Cameroonian tactic will be to apply pressure, and uh, from the get go, use their fit good a game from Cameroon, spreading it out wide. The U.S. though absorbing up the pressure pretty well, just as they did on Wednesday night. Forward by Michael Parkhurst. Rogers again a weak shot, a weak cross that time. Three, a lot of a lot of calling, a lot of passing players on, a lot of encouragement. Of course, football's about that as well. Well, we noticed that on Wednesday night. The you could see what Bradley was trying to do. He's trying to just uh, spray it and switch the uh, point of play, but unfortunately, uh, we've got to got to get underneath it and um, try to get over it. Beg your pardon, and kind of ping it across pretty um, self through. But instead, it's gone to McBride. A little far forward for him, though. It was a, a lovely ball, Andrew. Yeah, picked up by Bebe Kingway instead. 
I think it was more say. They seem to communicate very well, and uh, like you've said, Brad Guzman really, uh, well, he shouts out excellent uh, words of encouragement and communication to, to help them, making it uh, so much easier. Now, Gomsi, Rogers, he's got plenty of pace, Rogers. He has, yeah, he's a little tricky as well. That's with his right foot experience um, on the field, Andrew. It's off of the field. I mean, if you have people like Brian McBride... Uh, you know, in your change of putting pressure on Guzan, who actually ends up getting off quite a good clearance. Oh, expertly done. Bebe, it was on the far side. Roland Bebe didn't panic. Mbia Atundi. Yeah, not, a, not bad going for an American. No, no. Sir